Prometheus has arrived. No, not the spaceship. Netrunner Linux Prometheus 15 with KDE Plasma 5.2. Ooh. <laughs> All right, welcome back. This is the new one from the fine folks from Netrunner. Uh, I voted the best looking KDE desktop for 2014 would be Netrunner. This is the brand new one featuring the brand new KDE desktop environment, the KDE Plasma 5.2. This is not an LTS. This is only supported for nine months. So let's, um, Let's take a look real quick and see what we have. We go to the README and see what they have to say here. All right, Netrunner 15 Prometheus. It looks like it's only available in 64-bit. Let's see, Netrunner 15 revised from the ground up. It officially ships the new KD Plasma 5.2. An upgrade from previous Netrunner series is neither officially available nor really recommended. All right, 64 bit only. Catching Fire being named after the God of Fire. Netrunner 15 straight from the roaster. What's new? Uh, let's see, you can get more information here. We'll go into all of this. A new mix. Let's see, Firefox Plasma, G Music Browser, a Tracy Music Search, Radio Tray, I love Radio Tray, uh, streaming music, simple screen recorder, screen recording, very good, Handbrake, no, that's another good one, and Discs, uh, Skype, very good, and some other stuff. All right, let's go ahead and uh, dive into this and see what we have. All right, let's, this is the uh, default desktop. Let's, um, hmm, that wallpaper doesn't quite look right. Let's right click and fix that. Uh, let's pick, um, let's pick, what's this? Let's pick that one, that one looks cool. Apply, and let's go centered, and it doesn't work. Hmm, let's try something else. Let's try that one, see if that works. Uh, it's, it says here, work in progress. I guess so, since this part doesn't work. I am running this inside a virtual environment, so I guess that's not too surprising. I'll just leave it the way it is for now. What do we have here at the bottom? A little wrench, okay, to adjust the panel, very good. All right, quick search bar at the top, very good. Notifications, of course, time and date. Clipboard, okay. Volume, of course. Let's see, do my keyboard, keyboard works? Okay, cool. All right, this is what the drop-down terminal, very good. Let's go ahead and exit out of that there. Of course, your three standard shortcuts there. Let's, uh, KDE is famous for widgets, so let's see, right-clicking the panel, add widgets, let's try something. Uh, let's see, can I move this? No, it's stuck in the corner, huh? Okay, fine. Let's go to, let's see, what shall we add? Uh, analog clock, let's go ahead and drag that over. Let's go ahead and, I said I want to drag that over. Hmm. Well, that doesn't work. There's no corner here, shortcut, calendar, calculator. Okay, well, I guess that's not working either. Now, this is the very first iteration of the Plasma 5.2. So even though this is a final product, this is a short-term support desktop, nine months. So expect, to, expect it to be a little bit rough around the edges. Not too surprising. The start button, if you want to call it that. Let's see. All right, search at the bottom. Recent application games, graphics, internet, of course, Firefox by default. I like it, the fact that Skype is already in there. Multimedia. Let's see, Handbrake is very good. KDEN Live. Oh, let's see, which version is this? Some of you may know about the issues I've had with KDEN Live and Linux Mint. Let's see if this looks good, or are there any missing shortcuts? Nope, no missing shortcuts. 
about Kden Live. This appears to be the old one. Hmm, I wonder why. I'll just leave it the way it is. Let's go back here. All right, simple screen recorder is there. Very good. Office, the usual LibreOffice settings, system. Let's go to, let's see, let's see, let's go to monitor. How many megabytes is this using? 900 megabytes. That's a bit heavy, but not too surprising with KDE, I suppose. I've seen lighter, but I do like how this one looks. Utilities, okay, the usual. Wine, uh, Wine will help you install, hopefully, some Windows applications in Linux. I've never had good luck with it. Recent documents, power, the usual. Some shortcuts here. Oh, let's see, I see the wrench there. Let's see, let's click that, go to system settings. This would be something similar to control panel um, in Windows. Let's go to audio. I never did like this, uh, what is it called, K-Mix. Uh, I never did like this as opposed to the GNOME Control Center, you know, in Ubuntu and Linux Mint. I find that to be a little bit easier to use, but that's just me. All right, very nice. I like the look and feel of this so far in spite of the, the few bugs I've seen here. Well, let's see, let's go back to right-clicking desktop settings. Desktop, Netrunner desktop, desktop, does that change anything? Hmm. Uh, not really. Okay. Alternatives, what does that do? Expanding icons, icons only, task manager, Windows list. Hmm. Let's try that. Switch. Okay. Not really sure what that does. Cheese. Webcam, I don't have my webcam hooked up. All right, so far so good as far as what I see there. Okay, well this is, I think I'll stop it here. This is the latest from Netrunner. A very, very good polished, stable distribution, usually with the previous versions anyway. Now this is brand new in their virtual environment. So a few bugs that I've noticed, uh, but not too bad, I suppose. The widgets things really surprised me. I can't really use that at all. But again, maybe in a full install, uh, yours may run better than mine. But as usual, I think it looks uh, terrific. Let's take a look at one more thing. Let's go to the, um, uh, this uses, I believe, Dolphin. Yeah, Dolphin file manager yep this looks the way it should no issues here you can change the way this looks of course I believe the dolphin file manager is one of the best file managers in any operating system period all right so that's my take on the latest Netrunner 15 Prometheus uh, KDE Plasma 5.2. In spite of the few bugs, I do like the way this is going uh, so far. Seems to run pretty good in a virtual environment except for a couple of those glitches uh, such as the wallpaper and the widgets. But again, if you do a full install, you may have better luck than I do. Well, let me know if you, let me know if you try something like this. I'm curious and uh, maybe you may ha you might have better luck well that's it for this one thank you so much for watching and listening don't forget to subscribe and support this channel as always and as always i will catch all of you sometime in the future